This is uh, John Reeves. It's a wet, wet day in uh, in England, in Lancaster, and um, I am going to be going into my parents' garden shed to try and discover some old tools that I left there about 20 years ago. Because today I'm going to be trying to do a little bit of uh, sample making of my own in the form of a, a gift for my niece, a rocking horse. So there we have it, that's the setup for, for the moment. Scrubbing brush and what have you, and let's get the the extension cord. So this is the uh, plywood brought from the uh, A and Q. So pretty basic, but uh, not too bad. Getting a little bit of background, but it's not very nice. Everything's done at home with palm printers. Um, and on my bench, very basic. So this is uh, this is Hester the rocking horse. My Airfix model style printer. Alright, there you go. Lockdown scissors, bought for haircuts. Was it ever used? Not really. To give an idea of what we're working with, here is the uh, rail. Rail, the main body. Alright, crack on. Just uh, take a moment to uh, update where we are on the cutting. As you can see, we've been clamping securely and uh, managed to get a relatively smooth cut all the way around, as close to the line as possible. Okay, back to business. It's still very cold. Let's see how we get along. The detail of this horse's haircut is based on a trip to Iceland where I saw many of the Icelandic ponies had these beautiful fringes um, and long mates. So I'll share a picture of that later on. Incidentally, Iceland could be a very fitting link for <laughs> the weather conditions of today. Alright, time to take a break for some lunch. Some progress made. Not bad. Okay, the decks. It's getting so cold now that the hat is coming on. We're getting there, we're getting there. Yes. Ah, thank you, Mum. How are you? Come, 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 come. <laughs> Say hello. No, come, come, come closer. Come closer. Come closer. There you go. Smile. <laughs> Thanks for the team, Mum. <laughs> uh, thank You're you. welcome. <laughs> Love you. Thank you, Mum. Mm. Not too cold. <laughs> Fraction. All right. Yes. Steady as she goes. So we got a fair amount completed, still a fair amount to do. So I'm going to leave it for now until tomorrow. It's getting quite dark. The sun has gone down. Turn a lovely sunset. Uh, can you see that? 
the oranges are starting to come, come in there. So it's very nice. Got some, some extra bits and we made a mess. It's like a pack of hyenas has just ripped up a board of plywood. Except they would have probably left less mess. All right, for now, it's uh, day one over. So the weather has turned pretty foul outside. So today, my darling mother has taken mercy on me and I can now work in the hallway. Um, it's a bit cramped. Let's see how we get on. Been extremely windy. Cracking on. You get the idea. Coming together. Yes. All right, Mum. So, what do you think? There's a rocking horse. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's if not I was yet your finished. little girl. Getting closer.
cool and i So today working back inside the house, cutting longer runners, lockers, because the, uh, the rocking uh, length on the original design was not quite stable enough, so we need to go a bit longer. Okay, here we go. Come back outside for some sanding and tied it up a little bit. So I've uh, addressed the rocker to make it longer, so the other rockers, we'll see if we we'll to do those in another time. So, and I've also left two options which I am um, weighing out which one so one will be just a clean curve going up or this uh, slight return and then following that at the top so it's a bit nicer uh, would prevent it from going too far if rocking right forward and the same at the back so it's a little bit more considered I've also had a go at just setting it um, off, off center so there's a bit more rocker at the front because that was where it was slightly leaning top heavy front heavy um, so nearly there and uh, we're gray but dry at the moment and uh, it looks like the bird feeder could do with filling up the little robins will not have Good winter, a good Christmas if they don't have some food. How's this one doing? Are the seeds still dry? Relatively dry. Not very popular that one. This one is definitely more popular. Okay, so for now, um, let's say working outdoors. En plein air, as they say in France. Um, so the setup is there. Hopefully, I can get away without putting the umbrella on. This is too windy for that. Keeps blowing over. Okay, bye. Scrub this uh, bird feeder. And got to go in there somehow. Stick some more seed in. Some happy, happy birds. Look at that one. Very happy. I well, would we'll be delighted to have one of those. A mixture of seeds. Delicious. Out of our muesli. So hopefully we'll have some happier birds. And some fatter birds. Just going to enjoy that and hopefully they won't get electrocuted off the uh, Christmas tree. But so far, no dead birds that I can see. Just uh, preparing the, uh, the rocking base. It's good to get the old hand tool out. Take some uh, some buttery curls off. And uh, it's been a long time since I used one of those. All right, that'll have to do. It's a uh, it's another wintry day outside and time to get sand in and a little bit of spoke shaving in the beautiful outdoors. All right. <laughs> Some, a good bit of clamp in here. Yes. <sighs> just try and laminate that gap. Not laminate, but it's not gluing. It's just being put in boiling water and then drying out on the tension. Wrapped around its little tootsies. Dinner and those extra crispy potatoes. Co op, it's what we do. Yes. 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 Y
So we need to keep washing our hands when we get to work, keep wearing our face coverings in shops, keep making space when we're out and about. Morning. And now we're indoors more. It's, it's difficult to guess who's in um, the video because you go further back. You immediately go further back. Yeah, that's to protect each other. Go further back. How much you need on this corner, Shadows? Space space and let fresh air in. Watch the weeks for TV when what's on TV is the news. Yeah, I did. Can you can you have a go on it? Okay, so yeah. Right. <laughs> go on. I can't remember now. Ride a white horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a white horse. Well done, Mum. Bells on her fingers. No, bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. <laughs> Excellent. I can't the words. <laughs> Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a white horse. Oh. Bells on her, rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Go. All right, so we're pretty much uh, sanded and uh, a bit more sanding to do. And I'll do some uh, priming before spraying red. First of all, disassemble the horse. And, uh, this is where we're at. Okay, rain stop play for a minute for lunch, soup time. Always use a can at room temperature, 21 degrees C approximately, and shake the can well for at least two minutes before use. Well, I can shake it for two minutes, but I can't guarantee room temperature. But after we've done some spraying here, I'll carry that through. We'll hang it on this washing line in a shed to dry. So hopefully we'll have a fighting chance. Primer first. Here we go. Oh, which one's longer? There's spray coat number one of the uh, primer. A few dribbles. So we'll sand that down. The other thing about this is that you can actually see where your sanding is good and where it's not. So. Now it's time for uh, one of the rockers. So this should stop it from moving around too much. Spraying in the dark, in the shed. Minus well, all the components there. Oh, and the handle. So to this morning in the old painter's overall, the, no, dad's old painter's overalls, which happened to be one of his old shirts, his old fleece, and some, uh, some rather stylish trousers. 
you know, it's probably going to be in Kanye's new catalogue for 2021. Um, and, uh, and why? Why, you ask? Because today I will be spraying up my in the garden shed. The rocking horse, so it's been primed with one coat. And now I'll probably need another one. And then it's going to be cherry red. Okay. Okay. In the garden shed, time to do some spraying for Hess of the Rocking Horse. Here we go. Back in the shed. Um, so at the moment, I can't really show you, but I'm using a uh, pitchfork, pitchfork garden fork, as a uh, as a stand. Works out quite nicely. Right back to business. Back at it again. The uh, handle is sanded on one priming coat. One more sand of this saddle, and I'm going to give it a uh, a blast with the red just to see how it's see how it comes out. Okay, sanded, ready to spray red. Let's see how we get on. Cheers, cup of tea from mum. And this is it. Cherry red, cherry red. Shiny, it should look like that. Oh, which one did I get? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Laborer's tea with a biscuit. Mm. A bit of a gourmet one, gourmet biscuit. Quick drying spray paint for interior and exterior purposes provides a perfect finish on wood, metal, and ceramics. Should be just the job. Whoopsie. Just sprayed undercoat on top of the red. Idiot. Got it. It's red.
There's that lot. Train away. End of the day for now. Now it's time to race up to Ken. No, to Kirkston Pass for a run. The perfect centre. Pushing out this plug of wood that has been chiselled out. And now I push it out with this long screwdriver. So another day we're edging. We, I am edging a little closer ever closer. It's good. The rocking horse at the Toit.
a beautiful sunset there to end Christmas Eve, the daylight hours at least. Santa's got to be busy tonight. I uh, hope everybody has prepared well, as best as can be, under all the challenges to have a wonderful day tomorrow and a fantastic Christmas. As the sun sets, it is looking rather nice. Okay, bye for now. Maybe. Well, Merry Christmas, Athena, and Merry Christmas, Frank and Victoria. Um, it was quite a um, a busy week preparing um, Hester the Rocking Horse in time for Christmas and making the video as well. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, the video comes first, and the horse is ready and waiting in the stables. Don't worry, I'll keep her well fed. And um, it's a bit busy now because Mum. Grandma is on the uh, the internet to uh, Maggie, Auntie Maggie, and Uncle Brian, and um, cousin, my nephew, Alex. Anyway, um, it was an absolute joy to to make your rocking horse, and I hope you enjoy it um, as much as possible and share it with whoever comes along next, and. Um, have a very yeah, merry, no. merry Christmas. In, in What's love course, from your uncle, John? This week I have been mostly eating bourbon biscuits. So we were getting some spray back off the um, off the can. So I decided that the probably best to uh, take my shirt off <laughs> and do the spray because I didn't want to get it all over my clothes. Yeah, surprisingly enough, it doesn't feel too chilly. Who's oh, that? Not recording. Balls. <laughs>